Good morning, good, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Zeus, please don't go on my mat. Thank you, buddy. Oh, hey, and welcome to Wake and Stretch. He's gonna make himself at home anyway. Um, so we're back outside as you can see. Um, the weather's a little bit moody here today. We started off with some nice thunder and the skies are gray and patchy. I think you might be able to see the little bit of sun poking through, maybe, sort of. No, not really. All right, anyhow. Um, so, as promised, we're gonna move a little bit more today. Um, <clears throat> welcome to Monday, May 11th, on this side of the world. Um, if you're not here, looks pretty good so far. <laughs> it's a bad joke, I know. Um, we do have some peacocks around. <clears throat> we have the dogs around, so we never know what's going to happen with these guys as we go through this practice. <clears throat> I know that uh, you are welcome to join me. I'll give you a heads up before I do something. And I do this intuitively, so I really don't have any plan. The only plan is I'm gonna use some music. Um, yeah. So I don't think I have much to say <clears throat> this morning, except for, how about we start moving? Does that sound good? All right, I'm gonna make sure that my mat is fully in the screen here. I have my trusty block. You don't necessarily need one, but I always like to start on one. And I'm gonna push play. Wait, I want a different playlist here. All right, I'm gonna push play. Turn the volume up just a little bit. Not too loud so that you can still hear me when I talk. Okay, so find a comfortable seat and I'll meet you on the mat. Wait, I gotta, I gotta share this with you because it's just like the perfect picture. On the roof is a peacock. And we got these three <laughs> looking at the peacock on the roof. And that's my across the field neighbor yelling at the monkeys to get out of the tree. Anyway, all right. It's fun to share what I see from my perspective sometimes. And that was just picture perfect. All right. So, now finding that seated position. Take a few minutes just to check in with the breath. Check in with the body. Letting go of any tension in the face, the jaw, the neck, the throat. Letting go of tension in the shoulders, the arms down to the hands. Letting the ribs rest right on top of the hips along the spine. Allowing the waistline to use just enough energy to be upright. Letting the hips, the hip flexors, the tops of the legs, let them all relax. And the lower leg, calf, shin, the ankles, the feet, all relax. Check in with your breath.
breaths are always welcome. Let your eyes gently blink open. And allow the hands to come on to your knees. So we'll take a few seated cows and cats. So inhaling, lifting the heart and the eyes. And then exhaling and curling. Inhaling, lifting the heart and the eyes. And exhale, curling. One more time. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhaling through center, exhaling, twisting to the left. Inhaling through center, exhaling to the right. Inhale through center, exhale to the left. back to center, exhaling, removing the block or whatever you might be sitting on. And let's get the tabletop. <laughs> Moving through a deeper cow and cat. to neutral and doing the lateral uh, squeezes. So staying, staying nice and parallel to the ground as you exhale, squeeze the right side. Inhaling for center and then exhale, squeeze the left. Going back and forth a few times. mentioned earlier in the week, I'm going to try to do this as inversion free as possible, only because right now that's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, sometimes I like to be upside, upside down, but just lately I haven't been feeling it. So I'm going to try to keep the head either in line with the heart or above it. back and forth a few times just to get the core warmed up, being mindful to keep the spine straight, so no spirals, no twists. Really trying to engage to keep the spine stable. Let's go one more time each side. If it helps, bring your hands to your waistline so you feel the engagement of the muscle. regular plank. Inhaling the right leg up and back and then exhaling curling and bringing it in. So this is a variation on a theme. So instead of down dog we're doing it in plank. A little bit more challenging I might say. One more time and we'll step it through. Finding low lunge. Hands to the thigh or if you'd rather sweep them up go ahead and sweep them up. Bring the 
hands down to the inside of the front foot. Let's take a side lunge. You have to park my back. Flip to turn the left side of your mat. Weight on the, to the right heel. If you'd like to fold forward, fold forward. Otherwise, stay upright. You can use a block underneath your arms or pillows or whatever you might have with you as a prop. Coming back up onto the hands, if you've chosen to fold forward, flip it back. Low lunge, bring your left hand wide, bend the back leg and open up the quadruple. So you're reaching that right hand back to grab the foot. If you can't reach it, use something. You have a towel, a strap, or something else. But gently release it down, step back to your plank. I will take a vinyasa here, taking an inhale. Exhale, lower down. Oh, the socks will let me. Socks, can I do a vinyasa? It's a very good down dog. She will not let me vinyasa. So you come to your child's pose. Oh, 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 look who else is here. come down to the inside of the front foot, flip it into a side lunge. This is Loki's butt that you're seeing. <laughs> Folding forward if you wish. And it's possible to fold forward without dropping the head. Hi, Loki. How are you, buddy? You, you barely ever come on screen, huh? He's my shy boy. All right, coming back to... High lunge and then low lunge, bending up the back leg, getting a nice quad stretch. Releasing the leg down, finding your way back to plank. <laughs> She's not going to let me vinyasa again. All right, and vinyasa. Pressing back to child two. to plank once again and we'll find our way to low lunge one more time so inhaling the right leg up exhale curling through stepping that foot through if it doesn't come through smoothly don't worry about it if it's clunky and it feels awkward it's totally okay good so tucking the back toe sneak the back knee in maybe an inch or so bring your hands onto your thighs take a nice inhale engage the belly as you exhale, press it up into crescent pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up, or you can leave them by your heart, whatever works. And I think from here, I'm gonna to come to one of my favorites, which is warrior three. So bringing the hands to the heart, I'm gonna gently start to find my weight forward. Until I can find the balance. And once I'm up here, what I'm trying to do, besides fall over, is I'm trying to drop the left hip. So gently floating up to vertical, finding tree. Oh, these dogs. 
dogs are sorry about that. It's plenty time for them. Good. Bringing the foot back down to the mat, finding Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Half sun salutation. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan Exhale, hands apart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan Good. We're going to take that into a full sun salutation now. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, folding. Oh, no down dog, huh? Child. settle in here a little bit. Be careful, I just caught myself leaning back. It means that the, the abdominals aren't collecting and activating, so we want that to be nice and active. And then finding your way into warrior three. It may take a few tries to find the balance. It's okay, it's part of the process. Once you find it, allow the wiggles to happen. If you fall, you fall, no big deal. Find your breath, it's most important. And bring it up to tree pose. Can you hear that clapping? I'm not sure if the neighbor is clapping for me or if he's trying to get rid of some animals. Hmm. You can clearly see me. Gently placing the foot back down. Let's take a half sun salutation. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, bring it up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. We'll take a full one this time. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, hands down, step or float back. Move through your knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to your child's pose. Staying in child's pose for a few breaths. Since the dogs knocked the camera. So we'll add on from here. 
You'll have to pardon my back. We're gonna open up the left leg into warrior two. Inhale, rotate the front palm. Exhale, reach it up and back. Inhaling, coming up. Exhale, extended side angle. Forearm to the thigh. Other arm sweeps up and over. Oh, Zeus, you have the muddiest feet, dude. Gross. So oh, gross. Inhale. He was running through those rice fields. Inhale, split the palm. Exhale, bring it back. I'm going to go back and forth a few times between reverse warrior and extended side angle. Maybe that's why the neighbor was clapping at me because of the dogs. Huh. One more time through. From this extended side angle, bring both hands down to the inside of the front foot. Come into your high lunge. Let's take half lord of the fish. So left knee comes to the outside of the right heel. Sit down and spiral around. Oh, so gross, dog. <laughs> I'm not sure you can see this, but his paws are black with blood. <laughs> Coming back to center, find your way back to plank. And take a vinyasa. Plank. This time I'm going to rotate to the left. I'm going to increase the intensity by lifting the top leg and bring it back down. Finding regular plank. Going to the other side and lifting the top leg. Left leg lifts up and back. Stepping it through. Finding crescent pose. Pressing through those. Whoa. Hello balance. Finding your crescent. From here, warrior three. And tree pose. Stepping back, warrior two. Now from reverse warrior to extended side angle. Probably go about three rounds. Those of you that have been practicing with me, you know that three is usually my number, at least when I'm paying attention. Okay, one more round. Bring both hands to the inside of the front foot. Finding high lunge and moving into half board of the fish. Right knee, outer edge of the left foot. Have a seat. Spiral around. Bringing it back through center. Finding plank. Vinyasa if you'd like or child. Gently 
rolling up through the spine. Bringing the legs to parallel. Tucking the toes, finding squats. Inner edges of the legs and feet as close together as you can. Find your balance here. Hands come to the heart. Press it up. And go ahead and walk it forward. So, a few, I don't even remember when this was. Last week, maybe? Maybe the week prior? I had inspiration from my friend Shannon. And I created this little transition. Well, it's actually a huge transition when you think about it. Um, and I kind of want to play with that again. So, Let's stretch out the hamstrings a little bit first before we get into that. Cause I feel like the hips are pretty open at this point. So let's take a nice pars vochnasana, right leg in front, about three feet or a yard. No, not a yard. That is three feet is a yard or a uh, meter. That's what I'm looking for. Hands come behind. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the chin and bring it down. So if you're inversion free, you can stay at this height. Just try to tilt the pelvis a little bit so that you have more hamstring stretch. If you're not inversion free, feel free to go all the way forward. And hands come down for standing split or a supported warrior three. All right, so we're trying to let the chest drop just a little bit to get a little bit more intensity on the back. Softening it back down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, step the feet together. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Transfer the weight to the left. Exhale, step it back. We'll take pars with nasana on the other side. This doesn't have to be the deepest stretch ever, just enough so that you feel some sensation. Bringing it into the balance. Gently stepping it back. Two feet on the mat. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, hands come together. And find to that's a half sun salutation. So to prepare for this big transition, <coughs> we want to work on the hips in a balance from a squared position to an open position. So what that means, so I'm going to leave my block there for health. I'm going to find warrior three. Then I'm going to open up into half moon. I'm going to come back to warrior three, half moon, etc. a few times. This will get the standing hip and the core ready for what's coming next. So I'm going to take this on my left leg first. I don't know, just because. No particular reason. So taking warrior one legs to start, and then shifting forward, finding warrior three. Making sure that this right hip drops. Top leg is energized, left fingertips down. Here we go. This relates to those side planks that we did earlier in the practice. Bring it back down. Try to concentrate when there's flies landing on your eyeballs. <laughs> it's the worst ever. Inhaling, whoop. Stepping the feet together, bend the legs, we can give a little booty shake here. Then inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more breath here before we move to the other side. Cool. Now, 
taking that same warrior one on the other side, the right leg is in front. Finding warrior three from here. Fingertips come down to the mat or a block, or whatever else you might have for yourself. And opening it up to half moon. Find that side plank in the rest of the body. And gently bringing it back down. Opening it back up. Bringing it back down. Make sure the hips come with you. It's not just the shoulders or the upper body. More about the hips. Try to gently set the feet together. Bend the knees, give a little shake. Inhale, sweep them up. Exhale, hands forward. All right. So that big transition that I've been building up to. Now that the legs and the hips are definitely invigorated, stretched. Here these flies, man. <clears throat> Here's this big balance transition that I've been talking about. So I'm going to take big toe hold. Bring it up, let the leg extend. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to open it up to the side. The hips are still square. Make sure that they are side by side. Then gently lift the hips. Find that rotation. Let go of the hand and foot and find that half moon. From here, you really could go anywhere you want. I'm gonna go to Warrior Two. And then step it up. I'm just working on this one transition because I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's definitely challenging. <clears throat> and you'll probably see it in a video shortly thereafter. Okay, so taking the other side. Big toe hold. Standing up nice and tall. Letting the leg extend. Keep the hips square. Open the leg up to the side. If the knee bends, it bends, it's fine. And from here, start to tilt the hip. Let go of the fingers and toes. Let the leg rotate back. Find your half moon. Gently step back. Whoa. Finding warrior two. One side is usually smoother than the other. And then stepping it up and shaking it out. <sighs> Alright, cool. So I don't know about you, but I'm feeling nice and alive in the hamstrings, <clears throat> on the hips. <clears throat> I think I want to try that one more time on each side. Make sure that I have my block set and ready. And I'm going to move on after this. So weight comes into the left foot. Grabbing the right big toe from the outside, mind you, yeah? Lengthening through the spine, extending the right leg out. Letting the leg open. Finding the transition. This requires a lot of energy out both arms and both legs, as well as all that core work. And of course, the breath is important. If you hold the breath, you'll definitely fall. Ooh, inspiration just hit. All right, so we're in an open hip position. Let's see if we can find tree pose from here. Which is squared off to the front. Can you guys tell that I like balancing? Finding Tadasana, inhaling, sweeping the arms up. Have some towel. Exhale. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, folding. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to the heart, weave into the right foot. Second side, last time. Grabbing the big toe. Half 
Feet down onto the mat. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, fold it forward. We'll take a full sun salutation this time. Inhale, lifting halfway. Hands to the mat. Make your way into child. coming up onto hands and knees. Um, we're going to do a few rounds, maybe well, maybe one or two of uh, cavil pose. So coming into a nice parallel position with the legs. Sitting up nice and tall. I like to use a block here. It's a nice transition from hips to the block to the heels. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can always just leave your hands on the Inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, hinging, letting the hips slide forward, lifting the spine out of the lower back, right? I know that doesn't make much sense, but you want to lengthen before you back bend. You don't want to crunch the lower back. Inhaling, coming back up. round will probably just come down to the block. If you want to go to your heels for a deeper back bend, please do. Gently coming back up the way you came. And sitting back either on the heels or on your prop. Finding your way up onto your feet. Go ahead and have a seat and let the legs extend out in front. And from here, let's take a Janu Shirshasana. So we're going to take the right leg, maybe cradle it a little bit. Bring the foot to the inner leg as it was in tree, sitting up nice and tall. Give a little twist and then fold it forward. Hold on wherever you can. If you can't reach the feet, it doesn't matter. As long as you're feeling something in the low back, the hamstring, perhaps the hips, you're good. Shasana, bottom of the foot to the inner thigh, inner, inner thigh, inner thigh. <laughs> sitting up tall, giving a little twist, and then folding Lifting up, let's give the 
left leg a little rest there, and find bound angle pose. Sitting up nice and tall. Trying to scoot the sit bones closer to the heels. I think this is it for the bound angle pose. If you're feeling like you want to fold forward, you want to twist on top of it, go for it. I think this is where I'm at today. So do you feel a little bit of sensation here in the hips? So from here, leaving the legs in place if possible, slowly rolling down through the spine. <laughs> Onto my gross, muddy mat from the dogs. <laughs> Finding reclined down to angle pose. Hands can rest wherever you'd like them to. Now if you are truly inversion free and cannot lay flat, then I encourage you to stack props underneath you so that you're on a diagonal so your head is a little bit higher. If you're good laying flat, then of course, all is good in the world. Okay, so we get a little bit deeper into the hips. Leave the left leg where it is. Lift the right leg, bring it into happy baby. This is similar to lizard pose, but it's kind of reclined. Similar, not exactly the same. At least the front leg is similar. That's not a front leg, that's a top leg, top leg. And gently release that right leg back down. And switch to the other side. Come to the socks. Okay, <laughs> coming back to bound angle pose. And then use your hands on your legs and gently close the legs together. Oh, there's a dog in my ear. <laughs> Hug the legs in towards your chest and give a little rock from side to side. And gently find your shavasana. have animals and they won't let you shavasana, you can always sit upright and breathe in an upright position. <laughs> or if they will, invite them to lay down with you. It's always nice as well. So we'll stay in whichever resting position you're in for about a minute or so. Know that you're always welcome to stay longer if you'd like. It's important to have the stillness afterwards so the nervous system can settle down. Make sure that your eyes are closed no matter what position you're in. The less stimulus, the better. Just let your breath come easily. Notice any vibration in the body, your heartbeat.
hear my dogs barking in the background. Stay in that relaxed state. Shavasana, start to deepen your breath. Find energy in your fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles. Let the arms extend up above your head. Give yourself a nice long stretch. And gently roll onto your right side into fetal position if you're laying down. And gently bring yourself up to a seated position. Eyes closed, hands either on the heart and belly or pressed together at the heart center. Let your chin gently lower. Nothing extreme, just a gentle lowering. Check in with your breath, your body after our practice today. See how you're feeling. Nice little check in. give a few moments of gratitude, something you're thankful for this morning. Om Shanti 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 Namaste. <clears throat> so I hope that you're feeling pretty good after that practice. Um, <clears throat> it's a very interesting life over here. <laughs> uh, in the beginning, I gave you guys a little tour of the rice paddy fields behind me, and there has been a lot of progress on it, actually, um, in the past few days. So I'm going to give you a little tour. Let me flip the camera here. So if you can see now, they're very organized. They went through with the tractors, they built, oh, you can see Loki down there in the field where he really shouldn't be, but <laughs> he is. Um, and they've organized it great. Um, I think, I'm not sure, there might be some rice experts out there, um, but those uh, pathways that you see with the water here, I think is a way to irrigate the land. And they did throw seed down yesterday, so hopefully in a few days' time we'll start to see some green sprouting out. Uh, yeah, so we've had plenty of rain. The grass is green again, as you can see. So things are looking good. It's a little bit cloudy here today, a little moody skies, but we welcome that from the blistering heat every once in a while. So here I am again. Hi. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much for joining me in this Wake and Stretch. Hope you're feeling good. Hope that you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Sending my love out to you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.